Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will discuss how to use Convault version 11 CS recovery assistant tool. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow us on Instagram. We will discuss how to recover ComServe database for staging or troubleshooting purposes. The requirements are Take the latest version of the disaster recovery backup of the comm cell whose database you wish to stage for troubleshooting purpose. If you have the disaster recovery backup files in the network location, copy the files to the local disk on the comm serve host. You need a non-production machine with comm vault version 11 software already installed and make sure it is at the same service pack level as the disaster recovery backup. Let's proceed with the recovery of ComServe database. Browse to the ComVault installation location, into the base folder. The default location is Drive C, unless installed on any other drive letter. Look for CS Recovery Assistant executable. Run the application with admin privileges. Brief intro about ComServe Recovery Assistant, which is worth to note. For this video, we will go ahead with staging or troubleshooting option. Browse and select the location where the set ID folder, which contains the latest disaster recovery backup. The default restore path for database and log file is displayed from the current ComServe database, which is Drive D. If you browse the location you would see all database related directories and its related files. You can change it to any other location or drive if required. In the summary page. Review the selections. You see the operation type, as staging. Microsoft SQL Server Instance, which is the default instance created on this server during version 11 software install. Database Dump Location, which is the disaster recovery backup. Database, and Log File Location, as selected. Finally, the database dumps to restore that is various DBs as displayed on the screen. Once reassured of the above information, click Start Recovery. The tool now performs the following operations. Please note that it might take time to complete. You can stop Com Vault services before itself, doing so will save time, if not they are stopped now. Database is restored to the specified location. The tool verifies and upgrades the database if required, and it's a clause. The tool synchronizes the ComServe system and the restored database. Finally, the tool run post operations on the ComServe computer, with respect to staging or troubleshooting. In the post operations, all activity on the ComServe are disabled including specific user login. You might also see on all client computers. Enable backup option is disabled. The tool has detected name change on this computer. The ComServe name from Restore Database shows the ComServe host name and client FQDN name. Installed ComServe name displays the current host name and client FQDN name. If both the names are different, which in our case is true, as we are staging ComServe database on a test machine is cross-machine recovery. License activation is optional as we are just staging the database for troubleshooting purposes. ComServe recovery completed successfully. Let's verify the same from log files. 
Browse to the log files directory. Open CS Recovery Assistant.log file. Scroll to the end. Restored database successfully. You can review the log file to know what all steps it carried out, along with the results. Start all Commvault services. Launch Comcell console and try to log in. If you try to log in with your credentials, it gives you error, invalid username or password, and asks you to use valid credentials to log in. The username and password that you need to use to log in are, admin, admin. They are not case sensitive. You are now successfully logged in. Right click on Comcell and select properties. Go to Activity Control tab. You see all activity on the comm cell is disabled. Enable the activity as desired, and proceed with testing or troubleshooting. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.